strapped for time, so we're going to rush through this back nine. The tenth hole at Edsel C. Hoffman. Hit my drive into this pot bunker. It's par five. And this is where the course gets difficult. Really caught that one good. Look at the up and smoke tour as that comes back to me. Placed it in the middle of the fairway. Had a decent approach, but to me, and leave a comment if you agree or disagree, the back nine, the wind affects the ball more. I never really struck the ball all that well on this given day. You can tell by that strike. Left it short on the left-hand side. Gave myself a short-sided chip and got extremely lucky. I missed my spot, but by missing my spot, I actually hit the right spot. Made par. This is a short dogleg left, but it's kind of a U.S. Open type hole where you have to just hit spots. Very targeted golf-esque. And if you miss the fairway, you're extremely punished. I tried to get that to the green, hooked it into the bunker, had a good sand shot, actually missed my short putt, made bogey. This hole is a behemoth. It's a really long par four. Just hit the ball as far as I could. And this was the first time I experienced true tree trouble. Tried to fit a four iron under this tree and hit a little shot bad stance by me hit a tree and it comes back this could be if this course starts to become like this it's going to become overwhelming because there is a lot that can go wrong in this course and if you start experiencing everything that can go wrong that's when you're in trouble so hit this shot wasn't the best shot but the wind really got it and this was just the road to double bogey just a really long almost a par five in length for a par four hit that chip two putted double bogey this is a short par four probably about 300 yards but it's really about the line you take maybe it's 330 hit a good drive left myself with a wedge into the hole and this was just can i hit the green not unlike a nicholas design kind of a weird concept to say but every green is protected by bunkers and every green is hard short par three probably the most enjoyable par three wind really affected it hit pitching wedge put it to the back and got par the local rules if you hit the wires on this hole you have to re-tee that is the rule no penalty hit a three wood to right here and then i just misjudged the yardage i thought i had a lot less in and I was a club or two short, and I barely got it on the green, and I did a super sick three putt on that hole. Probably the most uh, unique hole in this course is there's a big tree in the middle of this fairway, and that tree basically gets in the way of any drive. So you have to either, uh, you have to take on the tree no matter what you do. I got it by the tree, but then there's other trees that get in your way, and this is when this course just gets frustrating. So I had to hit a four iron under the tree, basically hit the shot i wanted but it just i didn't hit the specific shot that was required for this hole and that's where it gets frustrating for me at least in terms of enjoyment was left with this chip for my third shot actually hit a really good chip right here so just opened the club face got it up stopped it and i had that putt which i missed but bogey on that score hole is not bad short par three mid mid iron got the par that's where the shot was just rush it through it i really hooked this ball and i it was getting hot and i was just over it i was just over it i had spent the last couple of holes in the trees and this could be how some people feel on this course missed that and this is what the hole looks like i'm not even going to finish out like just that's the hole thank you for watching this vlog I appreciate anyone who contributes or subscribes or even likes a video. This is a passion project and I'm just trying to do the best I can.